comes to asthma, many different things, from dust and mold to cold weather and stress, can trigger a flare. I'm Tanya Winders, President and CEO of Allergy and Asthma Network, and welcome to Ask the Allergist. In each episode, we present a frequently asked question to a nationally respected allergist, and they share their insight. In this episode, we're pleased to be joined by Dr. Wes Sublett. Dr. Sublett is a board-certified allergist and immunologist for Family Allergy and Asthma in Louisville, Kentucky. He's also a fellow with the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Sublett. Great to see you. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you for having me. So today our question comes from a student, a young woman who says, when I'm stressed at school, my asthma tends to flare up. How does stress affect asthma? Well, there's good research now that shows that psychological stress does play a role with asthma, especially in flaring asthma and making it more difficult to control. Um, so psychological stress may have a biological and not only mental role with asthma. So what would you recommend for this young woman I and mean, how could she possibly reduce that stress? Really it's about identifying those stressors that may be playing a role with her asthma and she may want to reach out to a mental health specialist to figure that out. It could be bullying at school, it could be bullying through social media, it could just be the fact that she is stressed about controlling her asthma um, and being different from her peers. So really by working with not only a board certified allergist to make sure that her asthma is adequately controlled, but also maybe working with a mental health specialist may be very helpful for her. I think that will be very helpful. Thank you so much for sharing that. The mission of Allergy and Asthma Network is to end needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions. We aim to do this through outreach, education, advocacy, and research. Visit us online at allergyasthmanetwork.org for reliable resources. And don't forget to share this program with your family, friends, and colleagues. On behalf of Allergy and Asthma Network, thanks for watching and see you next time on Ask the Allergist.